We're seeing more bearish calls on the Korean market these days. It could be names like Samsung Electronics with its poor third quarter results creating a ripple effect. And some say the impacts are likely to carry well over into next year. Kim ji reports. One by one, local securities firms are lowering their projections for Korean shares next year, citing a lack of growth momentum in the domestic economy. Kobo Securities Company points to a faster-than-expected slump in exports as one of the main reasons, citing an earnings shock from Samsung Electronics. The Korean tech giant posted 3.8 billion U.S. dollars of profit in the third quarter, down 60 percent from the same period last year. There is no growth engine to supplement the low earnings performance of Samsung Electronics. The country's automobile sector isn't likely to improve anytime soon, either due to low global demand. And this will spill over to Korean shares next year. Another analyst from Uri Investment and Securities projects that the country's shares will drop during the latter half of next year after experiencing a boost in the first half. It's going to take up to two quarters for the stock market to reflect Seoul's expansionary monetary policies, including the Bank of Korea's cuts on the country's main benchmark interest rate. But it's going to be a different story in the latter half of 2015, mainly due to low domestic demand. Projections for this year's main benchmark KOSPI aren't all that bright either, as the gap between Korean shares and global shares are widening. The KOSPI fell nearly 4 percent from the start of the year, the steepest drop among Asian countries. In contrast, the Dow Jones reached an all-time high, rising nearly 5 percent over the same period, while Japan's Nikkei inched up 3.5 percent on the back of Tokyo's expansionary monetary policies. Kim Jeon, Arirang News.